Welcome. My name is Brandon. Please join me on a tour of the Winona Mall in Winona, Minnesota. I am excited to share this mall with you. I have been obsessed with the Winona Mall ever since I saw photographs of it on labelscar.com. Look at that ceiling and this wooden paneling. Wow, all right. Uh, before we head in, let's start with some history. The mall opened as Miracle Mall in 1966 with Fairway Foods, Montgomery Wards, and Tempo Department Stores. Winona is a college town about 120 miles southeast of the Twin Cities with a population of around 27,000 residents. While you may know that it is the birthplace of actress Winona Ryder, the town itself was named after the legendary figure Winona, or Waynona, who supposedly threw herself off a cliff rather than marry a man whom she did not love. Before the city of Winona, a village of Kyoksa sat on the site. It was home to the Dewa Kanton band of Eastern Sioux. One could argue that Winona became a college town in 1858 with the opening of the Winona Normal School, normal being a type of school to teach teachers to be teachers. Today, it is Winona State University. Getting back to the mall, the two department stores, Tempo and Montgomery Ward, closed around the early 1980s. In October 1983, the mall was remodeled to what you see today with the stylized entrances. It was reopened as Winona Mall. An ad ran for the new mall stating, it's more than a miracle, it's the new Winona Mall. Some of the 1983 tenants included Michael's Hallmark, Merle Norman, Regis Beauty Salon, Joanne Fabrics, Maurice's, Snyder Drug, 2 Plus 2, Taco John's, Market Foods Grocery Store, spelled Mark It as in I marked it down on the sheet of paper. There were also two liquor stores, mall liquor and winery attached to the building, and discount liquor in the annex across the parking lot. The Market Foods moved into the Tempo location, and the Snyder Drug moved into the former wards. Of these tenants, only a liquor store and the Taco John's remain in 2021. Check out this old map showing the mall's layout from the 1980s. Now I'm going to zoom out and look at this. Photographs of the tenants on the map. This must have taken a lot of work. In 1997, management removed the eastern part of the building, including the eastern hallway. They built an addition onto the southeastern section of the mall with the new Midtown Foods as the main tenant. Much of the research I have collected up to this point is from old newspapers, but I want to thank the person in Winona Mall's management team who jumped on the internet bandwagon all the way back in the year 2000. Back then, the website was really interactive. You could click on a tenant to read information and see the tenant's photograph. It's a 21st century version of the old Winona Mall map. Neat. 2000 era tenants included Brown's Fashions, which became Christopher and Banks that same year, Vision World, GNC, and TCBY. From 1983, the mall still had a grocery store, now County Market. We can see that some of the hallway that led into the grocery store has been cut back since the store left and was split into smaller tenants, including at one time a church. The sign for the church is still on the back of the mall building. One liquor store, Mall Liquor and Wine, remained, as well as Hallmark, now Gregory's Hallmark, Maurice's, 2 Plus 2, and of course, Taco John's. Although some of the tenants had moved around the mall. Oh, look at this. You can still buy a can of Coke for 50 cents. The next big change to Winona Mall was in 2012 when the mall started to slowly become a mixed-use building. The tenants in the southern center of the mall were moved to build a Sprint call center. 
In 2017, a man named John Alexander, who once bagged groceries at Midtown Foods and was later its manager, bought the property for $5 million. I wonder where mall management hangs out. It doesn't look like they use the office. In 2019, the DMV, Department of Motor Vehicles, moved into the mall across from the call center to the west. In 2020, a COVID-19 testing site moved into what was once the Four Seasons Department Store. Sadly, the last tenant to call that area home before the testing site was the playground, a place for kids with slides, a bounce pillow, giant building blocks that stacked higher than a child's height, and much more. You might think, hey, you know a lot of people lost businesses last year, including other businesses in this mall. I guess this wouldn't bother me, as my parents used to drop me off at a strip mall kids place called Kids Kingdom, so they could go out and see a movie. Truthfully though, my favorite memory was not running around the large plastic castle. It was playing sit down Ms. Pac-Man without needing to spend quarters. Winona Mall has had its ups and downs. I filmed most of this video on January 2nd, 2021 and sat on it. Two weeks before I went to film Winona, another Dead Mall fan posted the first good video of this mall. Before his video, the only video footage of Winona Mall was some teenagers in 2007 goofing around with an old digital camera that predated iPhones and Androids. I didn't want to release my own footage so soon after the first good footage of the mall. So I filmed some more malls and forgot about Winona for a while. I ended up going back to the town in May, remembering things that I had forgotten to film, such as the Winona Mall sign and the former Kmart. I headed over for a few more shots. So some outdoor footage has snow, and other shots do not. I was lucky enough to capture footage of Christopher and Banks right before it closed. Well, this is unfortunate. As I was nearing completion of this video, I went back to look at the other person's footage on YouTube, and I cannot find it. He only had the one video on his channel, and I cannot find that channel either. That's too bad. He had captured Winona Mall during the Christmas season. I am running out of things to talk about, so I am including some of the ambient noise I captured while visiting. Check this out. I am so glad I got to see Winona Mall in person. I am going to leave you soon. Please stay for the outdoor footage of the former Kmart across the street. I also found the remains of a credit union that was once in the mall. I hope you enjoyed this tour of Winona Mall. I also hope you have a good day. Take care.